Hey guys, welcome to your 8th Objective C tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go along with more decision statements, and the next one we're going to learn is the switch statement. And I'm just going to start it off with int x again. We'll say int x equals 3, and then we're going to start the switch statement. And the difference between a switch statement and an if statement is switch, it asks for an expression or anything. So let's just say x, and then what's going to happen is we're going to use these brackets and we're going to have cases. So we'll say case, we'll say case one, and we'll put ns log x equals one, and you can see what we're going to do for the next few cases. Case two, ns log x equals 2. Here, we'll do a copy and paste just to make this a little quicker. And then make sure to change this to 3 and 4. So what's going to happen when we run this is its switch statement's going to take in x, and for each value of x, 1, 2, 3, or 4, it's going to decide what to do. So we click run, and it says x equals 3. And that's because for the case where the, this expression is 3, it prints out this. So if we decide to change it to 4, it would go down here to x equals 4. I should probably space these out, make it even. All right, there we go. So basically what switch does, as you could see, is it takes in any value. It could also do x plus 1 if you wanted, so we'd, we'd make x equal 1, and it'll print out 2. So it could be any sort of expression in there, and it'll print out whatever we want it to. It could do so many more things. I just chose a simple print statement so you guys could see exactly what this switch statement does. So for each case, you have to put the case and then the value you want, and then at the end of it, you put break. At the end of each single case, you have to put break. And what will happen if you don't is something a little different. See, what happened is once the case was satisfied right here, since it was x plus 1, case 2 was the one that was satisfied. So it said, all right, ns log x equals 2. But then there's no break. So it doesn't stop there, and it just keeps going until the break. And that's why breaks are so crucial. You need these when you're doing switch statements. They end in a semicolon. There we go. Break. And so that's your basic switch statement right there. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.